Uh, it's run by a guy called Keith McNally, uh, a well-known British restaurateur. Uh, Keith is so furious about the way that James Corden allegedly behaved in his restaurant. Uh, very, very rude to his staff, uh, as Keith claims. Uh, he called him the most abusive. Remember the story about James Corden and Keith McNally? Well, it's come up again, only that this time, Corden is the one telling his tale of how things went down. But it seems Corden's story didn't exactly sit well with the restaurant owner and now things have escalated beyond what anyone could have imagined from the beginning. Interested in knowing exactly how the restaurateur reacted? Then keep watching as I spill the beans. I mean, most people wouldn't say it's uncommon for celebrities to be caught up in strange situations, but this case with James Corden has kept coming back up with new surprises almost every day. And in the latest one, Corden has admitted that he doesn't know what Keith McNally, the restaurateur, was talking about with the whole restaurant debacle. And boy did they get McNally even more upset. Specifically, Corden recently spoke out on the subject for the first time, calling the accusation silly and saying he hadn't really read anything McNally wrote on social media, even though he allegedly apologized profusely to the restaurateur earlier in the week. Speaking to the New York Times, Corden said, I haven't done anything wrong, on any level, so why would I ever cancel this interview? I was there, I get it, he continued, saying, I feel so zen about the whole thing, because I think it's so silly. I just think it's beneath all of us. It's beneath you. It's certainly beneath your publication. This denial from Corden came only days after McNally called him the most abusive customer he's ever experienced since opening his restaurant doors 25 years ago. And now hearing the TV host say that it was all a lie struck a nerve in him. McNally then proceeded to blast Corden via his Instagram, saying, I've no wish to kick a man when he's down, especially one who's worth $100 million. But when James Corden said in yesterday's NY Times that he hadn't done anything wrong, on any level, was he joking? McNally went on to say while he didn't personally witness the actor's problematic behavior, his staff had nothing to gain from lying about the altercations. I wish James Corden would live up to his almighty initials and come clean. If the supremely talented actor wants to retrieve the respect he had from all his fans before this incident, then he should at least admit he did wrong. He then concluded his message to Corden by stating that he would let the 44-year-old eat for free at the French Brasserie for the next 10 years if he apologizes to the two servers he insulted. The entire story has been topping the trends for a while now and fans have been talking about it nonstop. One user who seemed unfazed by the entire thing wrote, Are we really surprised? Come on, most rich and famous people do this all the time. We don't hear about it because most high restaurant workers and owners know this and expect the behavior. So far, Corden hasn't said anything about McNally's reply, but there is a chance he'll have his own snappy comeback pretty soon. That's it for now. Goodbye.